Right, welcome to Get Girl Sporty 2018, brought to you by Sporty Girls and Laureus and all of our partners, First Tee Atlanta, Black Girls Golf, Soccer in the Streets. It's an amazing day, you know what I'm saying? We're about to get this Zumba in, this healthy eating in, lacrosse, tennis, soccer, golf. It ain't getting any better today. Are you ready? Let's go. My name is Rashawn Ali. I am the founder of Sporty Girls. How y'all feeling now? Come on, I need some energy. You can do better than that. How you feeling, Sporty Girls? Yeah. My children have never played lacrosse. Uh -huh. um, they've held a, a golf club before, but it's awesome for girls to meet other girls who are also learning something new. So right. this is an incredible opportunity Yes. for these little mini to like <laughs> do something fun right, and then right. also learn something new. Absolutely, yeah. because they are athletes in their own right. right. So to pick up another sport, that was what your intention was here today. Absolutely. We've got stretching and just preparation with stack fitness. So we're just, we're really excited. Stack sports performance and therapy, they're gonna lead off the stretch and you know, getting our body warm this morning, okay? It was important for us to come and represent Stack here at Sporty Girls because we believe in physical fitness. We believe it starts at a young age to get kids out and active and participating in sports in a healthy environment, um, both physically, mentally, and emotionally. And you got to make it fun, you know, so making it fun for the kids and just allowing them to enjoy it and learn and just be themselves. I'm Nico Bourgeois, but I go by Nico B. I am a Zumba instructor here with the Zen family. I travel around to different events. So here, Sporty Girls with these amazing young women. We are doing fitness with them. We got a chance to do some Zumba so that they can enjoy what the Zumba life looks like and a lens into the dance world. So some may not dance, but it gives them a positive outlook and it gives them confidence and courage to even attempt to try to dance. Today is all about the girls, but I will jump in on some of the action. I just want you to know that I, you're doing an amazing job. I hope that you are learning new sports. Who is in love with lacrosse now? Good, see, good, awesome. Kiana dancing, Kiana dancing and came down to the Get Girls Sport. I see you doing your thing, sis. I mean, you know, got a little piece of something. Yeah, you got you. girls that get up and they want to be athletic. Huh? Yeah. Thank you. That you came out now oh, to the uh, yes. Get Girls Sporty today. I really appreciate it. This is amazing. Thank you. These girls know what they're doing. Yeah. This is real nice. <laughs> this is real nice. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You know, I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Thank you. Absolutely. A guy gave me the idea when I was actually pregnant with this one. Uh -huh. And so now, to see it 11 years later, uh, it's just kind of like, she, she is the ultimate sporty girl. We saw lacrosse, we saw soccer, yeah. and tennis. Why did you choose those particular sports? Well, I chose those because I went to college on a swimming scholarship, and exposure will do so much for these young ladies. Tell your mother that you're proud of her yourself. I'm proud of you, Mom. Mom, I'm very proud of you, but... But what? You have to get me on the show one day. Yeah, oh, she's trying to get on the show! <laughs> Today, I'm manning the nutrition station, so I'm talking about what we should use to refuel our body. Because we talk about working out a lot, but we also need to know what is best to put back into our bodies so that we are healthy. Because we can put things into our body like very sugary items, caffeinated items that will really put a negative effect after you worked out. So I'm really focusing on what you should drink, not just eat, as a part of a healthy diet. The biggest takeaway for each of our participants today 
is that you can do anything you put your mind to. And the great thing about the sports that we offer or that we're teaching today is that some girls may have not been exposed to these particular sports because we're going to pique a lot of these girls' interest. You never know. We could have the best, you know, the greatest lacrosse player to ever play the game come out of this gym. You just never know. You just have to plant the seed, and that's what we're doing today. One, 